What's going on guys? So in this video, I thought I'd give you all an in-depth look at the updated Siri that's going to be available on iOS 6 for the iPhone 4S and 3rd generation iPad this fall. So the first new thing that they added to Siri was they made it very sports oriented. You can now ask Siri for recent sports scores in all major sports such as football, baseball, basketball, and soccer, and you can even ask about college and women's sports as well. What are the scores of the most recent basketball game? Which basketball league? Men's college basketball, NBA, WNBA, or women's college basketball. So as you can see, we have all these options to choose from. Let's go ahead and just do NBA. The Thunder overcame the Heat by a score of 105 to 94 last Tuesday. And it'll bring up the screen here with all the teams and the scores and also break down the quarter scores as well. You can also ask to see team rankings and championship standings as well. What are the current AL West standings? The It'll bring up this screen with all the teams, their wins and their losses, their win-loss percentage and how many games back they are. So a lot of information here. You can also ask to see specific player stats. How many points per game did LeBron James average last season? LeBron James averaged 26.7 points last season. So again, as you can see, it'll bring up this nice uh, player scorecard here with all the basic player information as well as in-depth stats. So one thing people were curious about, even though the iPad doesn't have a dedicated weather app, you can still ask Siri to give you all the weather information from any place in the world, just like you can on the iPhone. What's the weather like in New York City? Here's the forecast for New York City, NY through Tuesday. And it'll give you a nice forecast with the high and low temperature for all the days of the week. You can now ask Siri to give you information about current movies. What movies are currently playing? starting around 1.34 p.m. It will take uh, the time into consideration and let you know when the next showings are for specific movies. And if you want more information on a movie, just uh, tap on it. And it'll bring you to this screen here where it's going to give you the director, um, all the people who star in it. It'll give you the Rotten Tomato rating, a nice little paragraph about the movie, and you can even watch the trailer if you tap on that right there. Even ask about what movies certain actors and actresses have played in. List movies with Scarlett Johansson. I found quite a few movies starring Scarlett Johansson. And again, if you see a movie that you're interested in, all you have to do is tap on it and it'll take you back to the screen where you have all the information about it. You can now get information about restaurants not only in your area but from around the world. Are there any Chinese food restaurants in New York City? Chinese restaurants. 14 of them are in New York City, NY. And if you want more information about a specific one, just uh, tap on it and it will bring you to this screen right here. It'll give you all the information. It'll give you the Yelp rating, the phone number, the website, and a location on the map. And if you tap on it, it will open up the Maps application and you'll be able to see its location. Siri can also now post tweets and Facebook status updates, assuming that you have uh, Facebook and Twitter integration enabled on your device. Tweet, this is a test of iOS 6 from the iPad. Here's your tweet. Ready to send it? Send. Okay, I sent it. The last thing Siri can now do is uh, launch any application, whether it be a stock Apple application or third-party applications from the App Store. Launch clock. and it will open it right up. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this in-depth look at the updated Siri. Like I said, it's going to be available on iOS 6 on the third generation iPad and iPhone 4S this fall. Hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed. Also hit that subscribe button for future Apple videos and I'll see you later.